Ladybugs by Gail Gibbons A flower gently sways in the breeze. A small bug is looking for food. It is a ladybug. Many ladybugs fly and move about looking for food. They eat aphids and other insects such as scales and mites that are harmful to plants. A ladybug is a beetle. The hard outside of an adult's ladybug body protects its soft insides. A beetle is an insect with a hard outside covering and has two sets of wings. A ladybug's body, side view. The males are smaller than the females. Like other insects, a ladybug's body has three main parts. They are the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Six short legs have sticky pads of hair at the ends. The antenna are used for touching, tasting, and smelling. Strong jaws help them to eat other insects. The ladybug has two sets of wings. The outer wings are hard and protect the inner wings. The inner wings are delicate and are used for flying. Different kinds of ladybugs. Ladybugs can be many different colors and sizes. Some are as small as the head of a pin. Others can be as large as a child's fingernail. Most are some size in between. They live on six of the seven continents. Many scientists believe there are about 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs around the world. They also believe there are about 475 different types of ladybugs in North America. The seven spotted ladybug is the most common ladybug in North America. The four stages from egg to adult ladybug. <clears throat> First stage is eggs. Ladybugs mate in spring and summer. A ladybug finds its mate by scent rather than by sight. About one week after mating, the female lays her eggs. A ladybug may lay between two and one hundred eggs. There are plenty of aphids that her young will eat and as they grow. The female lays her yellow eggs in a safe place. The female leaves after laying her eggs. <clears throat> During the next week, eggs turn from yellow to white. The second stage, larva. After a few days, the eggs are ready to hatch. The sh thin shells begin to split open. The ladybug larva crawl out. They eat their egg shells and begin eating aphids. One larva can eat about 30 aphids a day. A larva eats so much that its outside covering becomes too tight. The outside covering splits and is shed. A new, larger outside covering takes its place. This is called molting. The larva continues to eat and get larger. It may molt three more times before it's fully grown. After molting, the last time, the larva attaches itself to a safe place using a sticky liquid at the end of its abdomen. The ladybug larva is now a pupa. Outside, the covering of the pupa is becoming hard. Inside, the ladybug pupa will continue to develop. It will not eat or move during this time. Fourth stage, ladybug. Now the ladybug pupa begins to split open its hard covering. Head first, the ladybug pulls its body out. The ladybug's body is pale and soft and has no dots. Its body slowly hardens. Its two delicate transparent inner wings, which will be used for flying, extend to dry. Then they slip back under the hard outer wings for protection. In about one hour, the ladybug is ready to live a ladybug's life. Dots begin to appear. Soon, the adult ladybug opens its hard wings and unfolds its flying wings. The ladybug lifts itself up in the air. It will spend its life going from plant to plant, eating aphids and other insects. Ladybugs crawl around more than they fly. Danger. A ladybug has many enemies, including birds, frogs, and other insects. It has three major ways to defend itself. Its bright color is nature's warning to others that this insect may be poisonous or just taste bad. When a ladybug is, is attacked, its legs, leg joints ooze a yellow fluid. It has a terrible smell that keeps enemies away. A ladybug will also pretend to be dead, and then the predator will lose interest. Ladybugs must protect themselves from cold winter weather. Thousands of ladybugs find a safe, warm place, such as under a rock or nestled under leaves. Some ladybugs fly to a warmer climate. Like other insects, ladybugs are cold-blooded. Their body temperatures are controlled by the air surrounding them. They become active again when the temperature rises to about 59 degrees Fahrenheit. Gardeners and farmers have always been against insects that damage their plants and crops. 
but they appreciate ladybugs because they eat plant-damaging insects. In the late 